Hello viewers, I'm Advocate Kier Awad from Lexus & Company. Today we're going to talk about criminal conspiracy. So, criminal conspiracy is one of the most discussed topic in the legal field. In this article, we will try to analyze the criminal conspiracy in the dead. Also try to discuss every possible questions that arises in the mind of a person while reading this article. A criminal conspiracy was discussed in section 120A of IPC. Punishment for the same was given under section 120B. So, let's start with its definition. Criminal conspiracy according to section 120A of IPC is as follows. When two or more persons agree to do or cause to be done, number one, an illegal act or number two, an act which is not illegal but by illegally means, such an agreement is designated a criminal conspiracy. Provided that no agreement except an agreement to commit an offence shall amount to criminal conspiracy unless some act is done by the person in pursuance of that agreement. Now let's talk about let's talk about this explanation. It is immaterial whether the illegal act is ultimate or incidental. Now to understand the statutory meaning of criminal conspiracy in a better way, we have to highlight some of the important pointers from it so that it may become easy to understand it. Now, what are the essential elements? In the above mentioned paragraph, we have highlighted some of the pointers and in this paragraph, we will discuss those pointers in brief because they are essential elements of criminal conspiracy. Number one, two or more persons. One of the most important thing in the criminal conspiracy is that there has to be two or more persons because as we, as we all know that one cannot conspire about the things to himself. There has to be two or more persons to conspire conspired about something now can there uh, can there is the conviction of one only now the question is that if only one out of two or three convicts is caught uh, is caught can the court make them punished for criminal conspiracy because as we know that it is mandatory to have minimum two persons at first there is the rule that there is no punishment if only one convict is found but later in case of Bhimdhar Pradhan vs. State of Orissa, it was held that the court can convict only one person based on sufficient evidence of the criminal conspiracy. Point to be noted is that if it is pursuance of crime, there are several small crimes committed, then all of them will be convicted for the same. I hope you are pretty much clear with the concept of criminal conspiracy under IPC and if not so then do let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys super soon in my next video with some other legal topic. Till then, take care of yourself.